Oh, my precious students of Grade Free Academy for Excellence. It is time for social studies. And this is the only subject in our Ghanaian curriculum that inculcates in us the spirit of true patriotism and nationalism. I am Solomon Atenga, also known as Otunfo. Our topic is representation of direction and position. I take it again representation of direction and position. The objectives of this lesson is as follows. By the end of the lesson, I expect my students to be able to mention the four main cardinal points, and I expect my students to also show direction of places by the use of the cardinal points. Then I also expect them to also show direction on maps by the use of the cardinal points. The two main ways of showing direction of places or objects on maps are as follows. One, we have cardinal points. Then two, we have angular bearings. Under the cardinal points, the compass is always pointing to the north. Then we have four cardinal points. The four cardinal points are, we have north, south, east, and west. The four cardinal points that we mention as basis can be subdivided into eight cardinal points. Then we have it to be north, south, east, west, northeast, southwest, southeast, northwest. Then I come back to the north point again. Similarly, the eight cardinal points can be further subdivided into 16 cardinal points as in we have north, south, east, west. Northeast, southwest, we have northwest, southeast, north, northeast, east, northeast, east, southeast, south, southeast, south, southwest, west, southwest, west, northwest, north, northwest. Then I come to the north pole again. Now, the movement from north, east, south, west, and back to the north is a clockwise movement. A bearing is the direction of one point from another sh shown as an angle. The bearing from one point to another is angular measurement. The bearing of east is 90 degrees. South, west is 225 degrees. West is 270 degrees. Then north is 360 degrees. The bearing is a more accurate way of giving direction since it can be measured correctly by means of the protractor on paper and the prismatic compass on the ground. A true bearing or magnetic bearing. Unlike the lines of longitude, the needle of the prismatic compass points to the magnetic north rather than to the true north. This is therefore giving two types of bearing, the true bearing and the magnetic bearing. What is a true bearing? A true bearing is the angle which a line from the observer's position to the object makes with a line joining the true knot. What is a magnetic bearing? It is the angle which a line from the observer's position to the mix with a line pointing in the direction of magnetic knot. Then what is a true knot is static, but the magnetic knot changes from season to season and from place to place. The angle of the difference is the two known as magnetic variation or magnetic declination. I have a simple homework for you. Question one, draw the 16 cardinal points. Then question two, what is true bearing? Thank you for watching.